There was an emergency in New York. The highly anticipated Knicks lost the first game against the Indiana Pacers, and fans were already throwing in the towel. That push, pushing the Cavaliers to seven games, that didn't matter. This is still the Knicks after all. That jersey is forever cursed. We might as well just pack it in, right? Well, let's relax, guys. It's a long NBA season. And you're going to see in this video, we have some life. Now Chandler Parsons is going to hit us with that. 2K layup animation from about 25 feet away from the basket cheese, which is always just so fun to defend. But it's okay because I have a cheese play myself, the floppy chest, which always gets mellow open. But why the hell is Jared Sullinger at power forward? They still have Dirk, right? Well, they do. You're not going to see him here. But they do still have Dirk Nowitzki, but Jared Sullinger's fat self is playing over him? Then again, I'm just happy he's not in a Celtics jersey anymore, so I'll take it. So now, who are we going to in this possession? Carl Anthony Towns? Oh yes, that's right. We get a mismatch, we get Parsons on him. Hit him with that turnaround hook. There we go. Didn't go to Mello, didn't go to Lawson, went to Carl Anthony Towns on that one. And they went to Tyson Chandler. Why? I mean, I love Tyson Chandler, but why the hell is he the one shooting the ball in this situation? And now with a tie game in about 25 seconds, wait a minute, I passed the ball off from Carmelo Anthony? That's right. Towns is getting it again over Chandler. Ooh, that was mean. Listen. If we want to really win a championship, Carl Anthony Towns has got to step up, and I'm giving him the opportunity. And why the hell is Rajon Rondo... Wait, he's driving to the basket? My god, Rajon Rondo drove to the basket and scored? When was the last time you saw Rajon Rondo score in an NBA game? Last thing I remember him doing was getting an 8 second violation, which has probably never happened in real life before. And why am I talking about this when Ty Lawson and the green release pretty much seals up this game for us, unless Rondo can hit a full court shot. He cannot, and that was a nail biter boys, but we won it. See it's all good, it's okay, we can win something, and Carmelo Anthony's gonna get interviewed, but Carl Anthony Towns really the reason we won that one. And now against Philadelphia, the 1 in 12 Sixers, I don't know how the hell this is a close game, we gotta get it to Towns again, look at that turnaround jumper, that thing is nice. That thing is smooth as hell. I don't know what the hell Embiid was trying to do there. Now you may notice that Evan Turner is actually playing with the starters in crunch time here. That's partly calculated, but it's more so I was just being lazy and I forgot to put Carroll back in the game, but Turner has been getting the most minutes off the bench, I will tell you that much. And Towns once again, going up against the flat top of Nerland's Noel. Sheesh. Just... Carmelo Anthony, Ty Lawson, take a back seat, it's the Carl Anthony Towns show. Although Isaiah Cannon, or Kanan, is trying to make it his show, I don't know why he's doing that. Blazemore! No. Trust me, if I could shoot a three with Blazemore every possession, I would, but you gotta stay grounded. Especially when Carl Anthony Towns, I believe that's Covington, but the way Towns is going, it really don't matter who it is. You're not gonna bring a double? Well, there you go. You don't bring a double team, that's what's going to happen to you. Carl Anthony Towns, he is ready to lead this team. Only his second season. And now, Melo just got to put the finishing touches on it. And this isn't actually a two-game winning streak. These games are a few, uh, a few games apart. But, as you can see, we're going in the right direction. And Carl Anthony Towns, I mean, I told you all he's going to get more involved in the offense. And he's doing it. And now we go back to New York for one more. It's a New York showdown against the Brooklyn Nets. And I told you all that Anthony Davis signed with the Nets, as you can see him there. I don't know why. I mean, if you look at the roster around him, the only other player he's got is Mason Plumley. Why would he come here, especially when Towns is going to do that again? You also might notice that Carmelo Anthony is actually playing the... Uh, small forward position in this one because I wanted to get him away from Anthony Davis as he's going to take one of the most ridiculous looking shots ever and get him on Joe Johnson because there's no way in hell Joe Johnson's going to be able to defend Melo and the Brooklyn Nets they're trying to get the ball to Anthony Davis because that's really the only offensive play they have but these turnaround hook shots are pretty much cheese from Towns at this point I started to feel a little guilty by using them Evan Turner's going to do his playmaking off the bench getting Mario Chalmers some open threes 
that was really the reason we signed Turner, because I, I mean, we can't have Mario Chalmers running point guard off the bench, but we can have him as a shooter. Speaking of shooters, Adrian Payne, he's really become solid from there. I mean, him and Evan Turner are really the top, like, guys off of our bench at this point. But McGee does a good job. And oh, watch out for Carroll. Yes. Damari Carroll was feeling a little, little slated because he had to come off the bench for this game. But listen, man. I couldn't have Carmelo Anthony on Anthony Davis. He was going to get blocked. I can't have Melo looking bad when he's in the thumbnail. I actually don't know if Melo's going to be in the thumbnail yet. I probably won't put him in there. We won this game. You know I'm trying to quit out of games as quick as possible. We won that in a blowout. And now look at the standings. It technically says we're the sixth seed, but trust me when I tell you, we're pretty much tied for the third seed. That's the way it showed me in the other screen. So between four and six, three and six, it's pretty much one win, one loss, and you could be two or three spots out of position. So we're right in the Eastern Conference hunt as of right now.